It's fucking nuts. I forgot. And then he had to redo it but with Ritz. Yep. Shout out to Ritz. And shout out to Ritz. Yeah. Still fucking out there slugging. Still out there. Ritz <laughs> is going to Ritz, man. I can tell you this. Ain't nobody out rapping Ritz. I don't disagree. I, I mean, he knows this. He knows how I yeah. feel about him. No, ain't nobody out rapping Ritz, man. You know, when when he's in his bag, ain't nobody fucking with that dude, man. I just hope one day Ritz can have an honest bio book because he has some of the craziest stories that he can never tell on oh. camera. Oh, it's fucking... It's a wild boy, that Ritz. No, that dude's fucking nuts. I'm a little crazy. He's no, a lunatic. He's fucking crazy. Yeah, he's a fucking lunatic. Yeah, he's crazy, bro. It's been cool watching that whole scene and everybody grow the way they have. For sure. You For know? sure. Even like a guy like Kasky. You know, yep. Kasky's... Um, he Kasky. records here. He just he just did his whole album here. Yeah. Um, no, I love, love what he's doing. Um, you know, y'all talked about it on the podcast... Obviously, we all got in a weird spot because Caskey ended up like dissing some other dudes that we associate with mm -hmm. in the circuit, and it's like I'm glad that I, I'm glad this somehow paralleled into this because you know what hurts me about that whole situation mm. is watching a bunch of really good dudes that don't know each other have a problem with each other, and me knowing every one of them personally. Mm. and being like y'all are all really good dudes though like if you guys ever actually hung out yeah like if you knew adam calhoun's heart mm. and that dude is a fucking sweetheart man he's a good fucking father he's a dedicated you know he's just like a good dude that's fair you know what i'm saying like it's like if you knew that about him like how much he just celebrates other people winning and how much he's one of the first texts i get every time i do something cool you, him, there's a group of people that every time something even looks cool, he's one of the first texts. He's like such a sweetheart. Caskey, I've watched since he was a kid. Mm -hmm. Like that, He's a great dude. Like Caskey's not a bad dude. Yeah, I don't know what the root of their issue is. I think that, uh, you like know what I think, man? I, this is what I, I truly think. I think that during the pandemic, uh, and I'm, a, I'm like a really independently thinking guy. I kind of consider myself like more in like the Joe Rogan lane of politics, right? Socially liberal. Physically I want to. I want to. I want to protect my family. I want to be able to. You know, yeah. obviously within reason, have access to weapons, and mm -hmm. you know, I do feel like eighteen-year-old kids who just graduated high school shouldn't go, be able to go buy two AR-15s without taking a class or something, right? I'm not saying take the guns, right? Just like you know, maybe go through a course before right. you get something like that, but. I do think that like a guy like Al Adam Calhoun, who I didn't know anything about except for when Caskey, because I'm close with Caskey. Right, of course. And then the first thing I just see is all this politics shit, this, you know, the MAGA shit. And to me, I'm like, all right, well, anybody who rides that, it'd be like if there was a Joe, Bi like a, ra a rapper riding for Joe Biden, I'd be like, crazy, right. What the fuck's wrong with y'all? For sure. And so, you know, and that's why like, I, I like when I saw that I was just like yeah dude like I I don't I don't get that shit and and to me like at the end of the day people make music for all types of audiences right and you know I think a guy like struggle is like a perfect example of somebody who may feel however he feels but he's just making music and he's not like making it in a div divisive way that makes fans feel that they have to shoot like if does that make sense what I'm saying no to you? totally it's like that makes more sense than anything. And I live in the complete opposite world of everybody. I don't have an opinion about this shit at all. Like, I hate our government. I hated our government with every president we've had mm -hmm. since I was like 14 because they charged me as an adult for a crime I committed when I was fucking 15 years old. They took every right I have away from me. And because of that, I am personally protesting our government. I have been forever. Right. It's like, I don't give a fuck. I think it's all a divide and conquer thing. I think a two party system is just meant for failure. Mm -hmm. Right. So I don't get them wrapped up in none of that shit. Um, but my thing is too, is that this is, I tell you this story and this is where it changed my perspective. My brother's here. He, he knows this to be true. My father was, I don't think I've ever said this publicly. My father was a progressive man. Mm -hmm. He probably leaned a little liberal in his older age, right? My uncle was a progressive man that leaned a little conservative in his older age. They grew up together three years apart, best fucking friends from birth, right. 70, in their 70s. 
<clears throat> my father was more of a Methodist church kind of man, which is a kind of a portion of a Catholic thing, not a portion, but it, it rides that fence of kind of direct to the scripture, real stand up, pray simple. You know, my uncle at the time, especially was more of a Pentecostal guy, which is more of, you know, you know, there's a big difference, right? Um, one day when my dad was dying, I said, how have you and uncle Buford been best friends for all these years? And y'all don't agree about anything. Mm. My father set me straight. He said, what are you talking? We don't agree about anything. He said, we slightly disagree about two things. We agree about a thousand things. Right. He's like, I don't understand why the world wants to talk about the two things they don't agree about instead of the thousand things we can make progress with that we do agree about. Mm. Right. And that just changed the way I look at life. You mm. know what I'm saying? It's like, immediately I look past it. So I guess it's like, even with the shit, I don't think I'm old school enough to think that, you know, I don't know what I think about politics being the music, right? It's been around as long as we've been around. We have Bob about Dylan public enemy. Protest, public enemy is making protest music, rage against the machine. It's been happening. Of course. So, you know, it's funny. I was thinking about it. Like when Adam and them first started rapping, I would look at that like, Oh dude, these dudes are like, this isn't protest music. They're agreeing with the government. Mm. And then there's a regime switch in America, right? Mm. The the part, the political parties changes, and suddenly it's like, oh, well, that's protest music now. Mm. And that just showed me how unstable the foundation of America is in itself, right? Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I guess with that dude, I, you know, I don't know much about um, his whole catalog. I guess I've just yeah. seen a few. Well, things. he's got some stuff that's really dope. But then I've seen like uh, there's, but then there's other guys like you know I'll see like uh, the dude from Florida. Uh, what's that dude's name? The MAGA rapper dude. Blow. Yeah. Now that to me, to me that shit is just corny. It's corny to me because I know what he was doing before he was doing that. He was doing the blue hair, fucking bootleg riff raff shit. I lived for sure. Same people. No, one hundred percent. He was doing like the uh, the white Rick Ross thing, right? Yeah, was 100%. like his, his his angle, and to each their own. To like, me, it's like you know, low hanging fruit for sure. And it's yeah. like the artist, the artistic integrity is like, yo, you're kind of like putting all your eggs in this basket. Right. But that basket has a ceiling that's this yeah, high. For sure. No. And I guess when you've been making shitty rap music for as long as that guy has, yeah. any fandom, you're going to be like, right. well, I'm making money over here, so I'm going to lean into this shit. But to me, it's just like divisive. But I do think, like I said, like, you know, it's important, like, for me, if I, if I don't agree with somebody... On certain shit, I, I like I have I have people in my life who will cut people off based on like their opinion on one or two things. Oh yeah, and to me that's never like uh, productive. No, it's like, and that, I guess that that goes back to my thing with them was like, I know Adam outside of the music, I know Casky outside of the music, I know everybody was politically charged in that moment, except for Jelly Roll, because fuck our government forever, but. It's one of those things where, like, I know these dudes to be good dudes. Mm -hmm. So you look when that happens, and you're like, ah, oh, just not man, necessary. I wish I could get y'all together to just like talk like responsible dudes, or, like you know what I mean. Like y'all have so much. Like y'all would actually have they got a hilarious tons conversation. In common. Yeah, they tons. Probably got tons you'd have in a common. fucking hilarious conversation. Um, Tom McDonald's the same way, right? You know, he's just in Canada, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's from Canada, but he's fucking. You, you know, know, I don't, I don't like again. Like I did. Um, because he's independent, mm -hmm. and I, 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 uh, I'm also kind of like I, like when you know he does a lot of the YouTube rap shit, like you know, and um, I watched a vlog he did about uh, him and that dude's album Adams. being fucked on Billboard, and I watched that because I was actually interested in that because yeah. I'm like, yo, as an independent artist. That's crazy what that dude's doing. Now, I might not fuck with his music, right? But but it's insane the business he's built, right? And it's like just him and his girl. Yeah, for sure. No, that's the shit I can look past. And I'm like, yo, this is this is respectable. Like yeah. you know, like I might not agree with like I might not be a fan of like his shit. Like it's yeah. just not for me. But I can uh, I, at least appreciate an independent artist doing that kind of shit. That shit's crazy. Yeah. He's got a record he put out called Scars. It's like a rock kind of driven record. That's fucking incredible songwriting. And that's kind of where I live with everybody, right? Yeah. Like, I'm just always looking for, I don't know, I guess I'm a songwriter. So I'm kind of overlooking all that other shit anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, does he have a song I thought was written really well? And Adam's got a few. casky has got a lot. Yellow Wolf's got more than probably anybody. Struggle's yeah. got a ton. Yellow's These are okay. dudes that I'm just like Ritz that I can just look at and be like, yo, I don't, you know, I don't give a fuck if you were the biggest Biden supporter on earth. This song fucks. You know what I'm saying? Like this, I tell you this much. It's like, listen, R. Kelly's a piece of shit. 
I love his music. You're not going to get me to quit listening to I Wish. I agree. You just can't do that to me, dude. I'm sorry. Cancel me. I agree. Fuck it. How about this? Separate somebody, the art from the artist. Somebody cover it then. But don't take a song that I played at funerals away from me mm-hmm. because this man's a scumbag. Somebody cover it. Like, don't tell me something about Michael Jackson and the Human Nature is one of my favorite songs ever. You know, somebody cover it. I, if there's a better version out there, I'll bump it. You know what I'm saying? That's for sure. But it's like, man, that fucking song. Dude, I've cried dozens of tears to I Wish. It's a great you know record. I love our. I mean, R. Kelly's probably my favorite R&B singer ever. Outside of him being a piece of shit, strictly discography, music, <laughs> 12 yeah. play, yeah. you know. Yeah, if I didn't know his name or know that he pissed on little girls right. or watched the fucking wild R. Kelly series, that was fucking Crazy. nuts. <laughs> oh, my God. If I, if I didn't know that and it was just the voice of the radio, I'd be like, yo, this fucking slaps. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, 